everyone, welcome back to Rachel Bella Crafts. Rachel here. So we're back for part three of our ephemera folder. Um, now, when I last left you, um, we had just put everything together. We put the signatures together. We put all the pockets in. That's all in place now. I've popped in the ephemera that I've got cut ready. Um, and we've tied it with elastic. Um, so yeah, that's all ready to be, continue to be filled. So this time now, um, there's a couple of extra bits and pieces that I want to do for our embellishment. Um, to start with, we're going to do uh, a front plate on the cover, just to finish it off. I am then going to use some of the remaining fabric that I have. Um, I want to add a pocket on the front of these um, signature covers. So we've got some more of this beautiful fabric here and I've also got some of these lovely um, embroidery anglaise and um, this beautiful fabric here. So I want to kind of incorporate that. But I also then want to put some tabs on the end. So I've been busy with my new punch that my wonderful boys bought me for my birthday. Um, and I'm going to then show you how we're going to label the ends of um, our pages. Um, in fact, I think we might do that first. So let me just find my glue. I do apologise. I haven't been about for... Um, goodness, it's almost a week, I think, since I last posted a video. Um, it's just been crazy. It's been absolutely manic and crazy here. So work's been really, really crazy. And um, of course we had Mother's Day on the weekend. Um, and I just literally haven't had a minute to breathe. So plus I've been really, really tired because I've got lots of events going on in work. Um, and I'm just coming in at night and it's just been, yeah, it's been just too late. So um, I do apologise. I had hoped to um, get this video done a little bit quicker than I have done. But, uh, you know, life just sometimes just gets in the way, doesn't it? And we've just got to rock and roll and do our best. So I'm not going to feel too worried about it. I know nobody's going to tell me off. And I'm sure you guys have all been really busy anyway. Um, so what I've done, I took the, you know, the long strips that I cut off when I was um, cutting these um, cardstock pieces to go in. Um, so I've taken them and I've literally just popped them through. So I'm going to do a bit of a variation of... Um, of tabs so I thought it'd be good if we mix it up a bit um, and I'm just going to really quickly whip around all of these with a little bit of ink um, to help them stand out but I just thought if we do a few of each pattern it will um, it'll break it up a little bit now there's a couple of ways in which we can um, label these so um, I've obviously had a quick look on Pinterest for some inspiration and one thing and another. Um, so some people have done this where they've um, sectioned it off for different types of ephemera. So you might have a section for tags, you have a section for your stamps, a section for pockets, things like that. Um, so it can be quite good to to want to label up your um, you know pages um, in that nature. Or you could um, organise it by um, theme. So, for example, if you had, you know, ephemera that kind of goes in different ways. So, like, you might have botanical ephemera, but you could have vintage botanical ephemera. And then you could have, like, more modern kind of style or more shabby chic kind of style. So, you might want to then label them like that. Or you might just want to put them in colours. It's all according to really how you use your ephemera. Um, so it's entirely up to you how you label these um, page ends, tabs, that's the word I'm looking for. You have to excuse me, I've been talking all day, my voice is a little bit hoarse. Um, we had an event today with work which went really, really well. We went to the local college um, and myself and my fundraising officer, we had a stand and it was great. And we had an Instagram, um, she, she designed this big Instagram like square thing. And then um, we'd had sunglasses made up with our charity's logo on the side, because obviously we're a sight loss and sight loss prevention charity. Um, and the kids loved it. We literally, our store was like the busiest stand there. So, you know, considering we were opposite Cine World, we were giving away free popcorn. I didn't think we did too bad, actually. <laughs> so um, we managed to give away over 125 pairs of sunglasses today. So that's lots and lots of eyes 
protected nail show at the summer with a free pair of sunglasses and they were actually really good glasses as well so um and they a lot of them then have had their picture taken which they are now sharing on their instagram tagging us in a bit because trying to get a little bit of traffic to the um to the charity um social media which is great so who better to get us do that than students hey eh? because they love a little bit of social media sharing don't they so yeah but yeah it, it, was, it was a long long day on our feet all day um we both <laughs> absolutely shattered by the time we got home but it was a good day so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um glue these on now what you could do you can either put a little label over the top here um and then write on the um what's you know in that section you could use your if you've got um where's my stamp oh i just stretch sorry if you've got stamps that have got, you know, these little letters on, for example, you could use these to just like, you know, stamp them on there, depending on obviously how big your tabs are. Um, or you could even have, oh my gosh, I just had a brilliant idea. In fact, I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to show you. Right, okay, let's try this. So let's glue this on. I was going to say to you as well, the other reason I haven't posted a video is I've actually had um, crafter's block for about a week now, and it was quite bad. <laughs> um, and I, I'm, I don't for one minute think that you haven't experienced this i'm sure you all have where you literally just trying to think of an idea and there's just nothing there it's just nothing comes just no you literally feel like you're just completely drained of all your creativity that's, that's kind of how i felt the last few days um and i you know i knew i had things i wanted to do and you wanted to finish this you know i had in my mind what i wanted to do but just nothing there it was just all used up obviously i I have to have quite a creative mind in my job and work um and i don't know whether perhaps i'd <laughs> i'd used it all up i don't know is that possible i don't think it is i don't know but yeah brain needed a break it was it was quite um i don't know i get a bit nervous i do want to run out of ideas like that or i can't think of things I'm like ah oh, can't be done with this I need to be creative so yeah i um it, it was quite bizarre really um but yeah, as they say, this too shall pass. And I hope, well, I kind of just forced myself to get on with it now tonight. And I thought, right, well, I've got to get back to it. I've got things to do, I've got deadlines. Um, I had an unboxing video to do, so I did that earlier. Um, that was quite exciting. So that kind of got my uh, creativity flowing then and looking at some new um, ephemera and one thing. So, yeah, but no, it's been um, it's been quite a strange experience actually. Right, I'm just gonna get this one on here. No. Um, and then I'm gonna show you. I won't make you watch me do all these. I'll lace on there. But then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna label mine. Just something a little bit different. Rather than me just writing on them. Ooh. Okay, let's just get that on there tidily. Because I'm all fingers and thumbs. Right, make sure that's stuck down. Okay, do please. So, what I was just thinking when I said, ooh, I've had an idea, was taking the, um, taking my, my hole cutter. And it's probably easier to do this before I put them on so I can be sure where I'm making my holes. That's fine there. And then that's fine there. Okay, I've already done that one. So what I thought was I could put some eyelets in. Um, now, I know you're going to be shouting at me in a minute because my eyelets are not going to match my little uh, bulb pins, but I have actually run out of brass eyelets so brass now what's it called oh i can't think what it's called brushed brass is it something like that um so i'm gonna have to use up these silver ones in fact i really low on eyelets in general so i need to source some of those but in the meantime for the sake of sh demonstrating i'm sure you won't mind that they don't match so that's our eyelets in so what i thought i could do was I've got some little tiny ephemera here, but I thought, and I'm just going to grab a pen, any pen, she says. Now I can't make a decision. Oh, I'm going to use this one. It's 
soon as we're all getting in the mood for our beautiful Queen's Jubilee celebrations that are coming up very shortly. There we go. And what you can do then, unless I'm not going to leave this one on there, is just right on here, nice and clearly. But by doing it like this, I am not, um, what's the word, committing myself um, to one kind of um, way of doing it. So basically, you can use your ephemerum, whatever, your folder in whatever way you want. But if you, um, you know, for instance, I might want to put stamps in here now. But for another project a little bit later down the line, I've got different ephemera cut out in here. Um, I might want to put something else in there. So by doing it this way, it's just easier to, um, to switch it up. So obviously this is just a very crude example. You know, there's lots of amazing ways in which we can do this. And I'm sure I'll come back with something a bit later on. But I just thought that would look quite cool having them all dangling down like that. So we could have stamps there. I'm sorry about my handwriting. I've not got the best handwriting. Ooh, this pen is heavy. Um, and yeah, it'll just give you a really quick reference point then so that you know what's in that pocket. There we are. Oh, that is so irritating when it doesn't punch it all the way through and take it away. My goodness. Okay. Oh, let's pop that one on there. So we'll have one hang in there, one hang in there. I mean, if you want to make it really jazzy, then you could put some charms on there. You know, you can go to town. So it's entirely up to you. And then I'll just, I'll just put this little one, I think, on the end. Oops. Oh my goodness, I can't pick it up now. Right, sit still, keep still. There we go. Right. That's the small hole, isn't it? And then we'll put that there. Um, I've been watching, I haven't been able to sleep very well lately. So um, when I do finally go up to bed, I've been putting Netflix on and I've been watching um, a Spanish, I love my Spanish soap operas. Um, I've been watching Velvet. I don't know how many of you have seen that. Um, it's about a, um, a department store uh, set in the 50s. Um, and it's the lives of, you know, the staff, the seamstresses, one thing or another. Um, it's all in Spanish. There is English subtitles. Um, and I absolutely love it. I, I've watched a couple of uh, Spanish soap operas, actually. I mean, I did do a year of Spanish in college a while back, quite a while back. Um, my sister, we went, it was actually it was about 20 years ago. Now, my goodness, I hadn't realised how old I'm getting. Um, no, but... You know, that's certainly not anywhere near fluent, and I've probably forgotten a lot of it now, but I do actually really enjoy listening to them. So um, that's kind of what I've been doing for the last couple of nights anyway. But um, the only trouble is then I, I find I'm not going to sleep because I'm awake watching that. I think that looks quite cool. Because that way you can just do that, drop them down, and then they'll all fall out. Because obviously you're going to have three, four, five, six seven potentially but at least if you, you do that and they're kind of you know all hanging down like that you can from a distance then see or rather not from a distance you know what i mean you'll be able to see what all the labels say so yeah that's just one suggestion um of how you can label your ends i'll come back and finish all of those a little bit later on so the next thing that i'm going to do now is to add some fabric pockets to um here just to kind of finish jazzing this up a little bit. Um, I thought I had a length bit on there. I am wondering how big that one needs to be. I think I could get one out of that, couldn't I? Yeah, let's, let's give that a tear. Let's just go for it. Like I said, I've had this fabric for ages. And I've got to stop hoarding. It's not right. We mustn't hoard, must we? No. Um, and I can just, just trim this down now because obviously we don't need it to be too big. Um, that'll do. Can't have any waste, see, can't have any waste. Let me cut what we need. Fold it back up, that's it, great. And I've been really good because I'm putting my fabric back in my drawer set. So, kept it all nice and tidy. Right, so let's just make sure that our frayed edges are looking, um, you know, kind of like uniform. Um, 
We've got our spring fate next week now with work, which I'm really looking forward to. So um, that's going to be a busy day. Lots of fun, I hope. And hopefully we've raised some, some funds for the charity. Because um, it's been quiet of late. I, I did actually go out to town last week to go around the shops and, you know, ask for donations or what have you. See if they had any old stock they chuck out kind of thing, you know. Um, not a great response. I was quite shocked, actually. I've done better in years before, and I know it's probably a sign of the recession and everything. Not that I don't think we're in a recession at the moment, but I don't know what's going on. But yeah, it wasn't great. And I went to the bowling place, and they were amazing. And the lady there was lush, and she gave me 10 free bowling tickets. And we've been able to use now five of those today for our um, our visit to the college. Um, and, you know, get the kids there to engage with that. And it's been brilliant. It's been great just to be able to, you know, have something to do prizes with because uh, because we're a charity. Obviously, we don't. Oh, that'll do. We don't tend to have um, resources like that. So yes, it's really helpful when people um, give and donate stuff like that. It's really helpful. Okay, so that's our fabric pockets now in place and our tabs and our labels. We've done all of that now with the first signature as well. Um, so the next thing that I want to do now is to actually embellish the front cover. The front cover, the front, the cover. It's only going to be one front cover, isn't it? Right, so what I 
done is I've got some bits and pieces here ready to show you. I've got um, a piece of music paper. I'm going to keep this nice and simple. I've just gone around it with um, some stitching. I'm going to place that on there first. So let's do that without any further ado. Um, this is a lovely, simple way to finish off the fronts of your journals or uh, ephemera folders. Um, but it's really effective just by um, the layering. So let's get that down there. That's great. Okay. Then I have taken one of the journal cards from the kit and I'm going to add that here. So again, let's just... Um, Oops, sorry, I've been shaking the table on. I need to learn not to lean on the table as I'm wobbling the glue around, don't I? There we go. Let's just pop that here. Now I know that may appear a little high, but there's a reason for me doing that. I'm just going to lift this a second just to make sure it's central. It's really hard actually from this angle to see if something is straight. Um, because obviously I can't put my head in the way otherwise you guys don't have a clue what's going on oh yeah, so forgive me please if that's wonky um, and then I have a lovely little bit of this beautiful lace I've used inside on the pockets and I'm going to pop that down there yeah that's not straight that's going to annoy me there we go this needs to be straight to the line <laughs> Line up with one thing. You're not going to get everything straight with everything, but choose one focal point, preferably whatever your eye is drawn to. So with the, this, obviously I'm looking at the line of the music paper um, because the outside is all haphazard anyway, so it's pointless me lining it up with that, isn't there? But um, let's pop that on there. And what I hope is the centre. And then I have taken one of the little sentiments and I'm going to pop that now onto here. I'm just going to quickly stitch around the edge. There we go. So that's now stuck into place and I have stitched around the edge there. I don't even see that there. I just like that. It gives it a little bit of definition. I think that's still a bit wonky, but there we go. It is what it is. I can't keep on fussing with it. So I think that that's it for um, for this. Now, guys, I'm, I'm really happy with um, with the uh, folder. I'm loving the spine. I do not want to add anything extra to that because I love it just as it is. Um, not too worried about the back. I'm loving the stitching detail. I'm really pleased with the front cover now. And I'm also super pleased with our tabs and our labels. So, yeah, happy with that. And then we've got our lovely pockets. So that's uh, the fabric one at the front there. Nice big deep pocket there. Um, I went with some gentler fabric, shall we say, for this section here on the inside. And I can actually now put some of these templates that I've got left um, from where I cut out those um, the tabs. So I've cut those because we can do something with those at another point. Um, they go quite nicely in there and that's a really good space pocket so yeah that looks great and then this one here which you've just seen that me put together and i've used just some botanical fabric scraps and i've stitched that then onto um this um oh what is it it was no napkin actually and again we just pop some of those in there and that'll just finish that off nicely so yeah, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with the pockets. I'm really pleased with um, all of these elements here. So that's another project finished. We are now all ready to go for our botanical collaboration. Don't forget your guess the guess. There's been some clues in the videos, the last three videos. Um, there will also be some final clues posted on to Instagram now in the next 24 hours. The competition will close then on March 30th at 23.59pm our time in Britain. Um, and there'll be a, a couple of final clues on there now, like I say, in the next 24 hours on Instagram. So just make sure you, that you look at the, um, the, the wording of our posts. Um, if you want to enter, you can have the opportunity to win some bonus kit um, pages. 
uh, you just need to email us your answers. Then obviously not everybody's going to have been, um, you know, not all the people taking part will be mentioned the clues, but it's just a few just to have a bit of fun. Um, I will be back then on the 31st with the introduction video for the next collaboration. Um, we're all very excited. So um, make sure that you join us. And thanks for joining me this evening, guys. Take care, everybody. And I'll be back with you very soon. Bye now.